your birthday sorry talking about birthdays if it was your birthday and your girl and your boys booked a holiday which one are you cancelling cancelling yeah so they booked at the same they booked at the same time mm-hmm. they're like oh babe i got you we're going to maldives and your guys are like yeah I anapa, I anapa. like i'm cancelling the, the lads i'm going with my girl you're cancelling the lads yeah, yeah, yeah. why did i think you were going to cancel the girl no i can't cancel my girlfriend the re- w- reason being mm-hmm. I'll, I'll probably have a better holiday with the man there I'll be honest. No, 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 I'll be honest. Like, do you know what I mean? But my relationship will never be the same if I choose my boys over my girl. That's true. It will never be the same. A so lot, uh, listen, it's, not, it's not worth the risk. A lot of guys, they're, they're in love with their mandem, you know, I'm not going to lie. It's not even that they're in love with their mandem. I just don't think they consider their girlfriend's feelings mm-hmm. in that sense. Like, for her to kind of take... Like, girls already don't like spending money anyway. Per. Do you know what I mean? Per. So if, if I'm someone that's that special for her to be like, you know what, I'm going to plan a surprise holiday mm-hmm. to the Maldives and then I say nah 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 I'd rather go Napa come on man <laughs> yeah you gotta bring you it down you the high nah but you gotta my, my man them can't be vexing me i just be like yo you man enjoy it I'll catch you on the next one they should know that I got a girlfriend so one of the things that I, I, I was even thinking about that scenario is, is I find it very hard to believe that your girl would plan something for you on your birthday and your man them not know do you know what I hear it because your girl would contact one of the men and say yo like what's Taser planning I mean, on doing the for his best, birthday the bestie yeah I don't know I don't really feel like girls really chat to their man's friends like that I know if if I'm in a relationship I'm not talking like we're not we're not friends like that I'm sorry I'm not, yeah but there, would be, there should be one of his friends yeah, that you're one, close one to G, one G one G one you know G where I mean? you're like, like okay cool you like, can go to like, yeah. you know what I mean even, like, even if your man is acting up and you can't get through to him there should be that one friend you can call I understand your man might get upset about you discussing your in our details in things, with yeah. his friend, yeah, mm-hmm. but there should be one at least that you can call him and be like, you know what, I don't usually do this, but blah 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 is going on. I'm planning blah blah blah. Can you make sure blah 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 is free? Free. But what if the man them don't like her? Because I've 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 heard I've heard of <gasps> stories where I don't know if you've been in this where your friends don't like the person that you're with. They're not good for you. She's fake. I've heard this, I've heard that. <laughs> you know what, me, me and my lot have a very, very nice relationship to the point where before it even gets to the girlfriend, we would have had that conversation. Mm-hmm. And fortunately enough for me, I've never been in a situation where any of my boys has taken that step forward and it's a girl that I don't like. Obviously my opinion doesn't really matter, but mm. I guess they haven't put me in that situation yet. And I'm saying yet, cause it could happen. I hope it doesn't, but I'm looking at my inner circle. I'm like, all the girls that they're with currently, nah, I like them, man. You like them? Yeah, yeah, they're cool it's people, It's good because man. a lot of men really do value, uh, You, I know you said it doesn't really matter to you, but men really do value the opinion of their friends. I feel like more than women. No, no, we do. But I'm saying my boy's not going to be like, yo, what do you think of this girl? Your opinion is going to basically let me know whether I wife her nah, or not. No, but nah, some, I'm telling you, yes, yeah, some guys is like that. Yeah, but then those guys, see, this is why I say women should be more attentive when they're mm-hmm. dating, when they're picking. You know, like, there was that tweet. <laughs> now, do you know what Remember there was that tweet uh, a couple of weeks ago where the girl was talking about friends and the, who's the leader? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not, le- it's not leader per se in the sense that I'm the leader, I'm the one that's got the biggest arrow and everybody else follows me. No, <laughs> but you assess the group. You figure out who's the funny one, who's the one with money, mm-hmm. who drives the nicest car, do you know what I mean? who makes, who calls the shot. You do that. So if you're with a guy who's, I guess, at the bottom of that chain. It's our fault. We didn't look properly. You didn't look properly. Because <laughs> when, cause, cause when he's now being influenced by his boys, like fully, you've planned uh-huh. the motive with him on Saturday. Oh, I can't come. The boys are going out. Oh, I can't do this. The boys are going out. Oh, you want to make plans? Oh, let me check on the boys. Babes, that's that the man. So, that's the man you chose. Listen, I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's some there's some guys that they they cosplay as the as the leader. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Until you meet the friends and you're like, oh shit, nah, I got the wrong friend. Like, yeah, that's I don't like, bear girls like that. They're like, listen, you meet the friendship group and you're like, oh my god, I've like, chosen the wrong friend. Yeah, but that's like them man that go uni and all of a sudden they're bad. They go uni off ends and then the they're, they're the uni's bad boy. Oh. But then you follow them to their ends and like. Bro, are you are a side man. They, they send you to the shops, my G. They send you to you're the, the guy shop. they said to get Panda Pops and Space Raiders. <laughs> Brother. 
It is what it is, man. Let's move on. Cool. So I actually want to talk to you because you were at the uh, Millennium Tour. You were there. <laughs> no, you have to tell me how it was. Talk to me. Okay, so there's a number of things that happened, yeah? Mm-hmm. The first one, we missed bare people. As in, I think, I don't know, I don't know who even who came out, but I know we missed Pleasure P. Is it Pleasure oh, P? Mm. P? Apparently he brought some girl on stage and was dry humping. Baby, ride with me. Grind with me, but grind with your me. Time. So, listen, that's not of my, that's not of my, my life spam. Please grind. carry on. It's, I tried grind, grind. Yeah. So do, apparently he brought some do girl. Do something, on, do something. He brought some girl on stage and was doing the real 90s group thing. Like, mm -hmm. These guys just don't want to let it go. Um, <laughs> then Bow Wow came out, done his little Harlem shake thing. I thought mm -hmm. Bow Wow was cool. Then Amarion came out. I think Amarion's been getting dissed for his performance at Versus. Yes, Terrible. yes, yes, yes. So I think he tried to step it up. He tried to step it up. Mm, it was all right. He had, he had a few dances. But there was a part where him and um, Orion decided to, I'm pretty sure you've seen the video, um, decided to bring a girl on stage and do the whole sexy thing. I was just praying he didn't bring out the watermelon. And try to eat the watermelon out on stage. Like, okay. <laughs> see what you seen that video? We done that in America, brother. Nah, nah, nah. We're we're not. We're we're very PC here, bro. Love it. I'm but, so. Mm -mm. Do you know what? I didn't go I, because I didn't know about it. Why is that? Oh, no, you got me scheduled bare times. Everyone hates me at this point. I saw everyone like you can imagine. Like I'm sitting at home doing absolutely fuck all. And he's watching everyone's story. And I'm just all of a sudden, and that it was like all of a sudden. Yeah, because there's like, no signal in there. Oh, so okay. everyone's story everyone's uploaded after. after, yeah. So Millennium everyone's getting tool, there. Millennium tool, Millennium tool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So none of y'all fake bitches could call me to say that this is where we was going. I mean, these are your industry mates now, man. You lot, you lot have your own little group chat. So. Clearly. <laughs> clearly I need to get involved in the group chat because I love Omari. Oh, is it? I love Omari. Oh, if I knew that, I would have bust you. I had a spare ticket as well. I can't punch you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't punch you for saying that. Oh, you know, this because, my I baby. Because, I, because I didn't, I didn't sort you out. I got, I got your gift. This is, a, this is, this is a, an apology. There you go. Put your come in the chat. Yeah, come on, man. You know That's this, exclusive. You know. You know this is. It's rare. Sold out. Come it's on, a man. rare commodity. Come on, man. I'm gonna show the camera. Let them know. Show the camera. Let them no, know, guys. You say no, no. You can't go to the shop and get that no more. Cafe, listen. This thing is almost as as dark as cho and chocolate as you, please. <laughs> it's almost as dark as chocolate as you. Ooh! This is. I really taste sweeter though. So. This is. Mm. Just saying. You better behave. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> you better behave. <laughs> I want that to hey. end. Like, I definitely, I definitely forgive you. I'm gonna put that in my house. But honestly, I love that. Was like my favorite era of music. No, it was. It was the vibes were very good. sexy. Don't you just love a good? Popping and locking mm, on the street. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, let me. Oh. He didn't. He didn't do the he thing though. Do... No, he didn't do that. He should have done a. You got served. Dun, oh dun, my dun, days. Dun, dun. He didn't do that. He should have done that, man. I know it's not his true, no, no, but no, no, no. yeah, yeah man. Should have gave us a little bit of that as well. Do you know what? Yeah, they don't make movies. They that era of time. Yeah, I was very young, but it was actually phenomenal. We just had fun. When I think back, we just have fun. Life like, was just so life was just so blissful. You Music. Can't, they don't dance in the rave in the rain like they used to. Yeah, because it's toxic now. It's eat the booty and um suck nah. feet. That's what they're I on want now. you to tear, tear your shirts for me. Outside the yard with the boom box. <laughs> Say, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at the window. Hey, baby. If I had one wish, they don't tear their buttons off nah. their shirt like they used to. If a girl pisses me off today, swear. Alright, cool. And go home listen to some future. <laughs> Trust me, some toxic music. Just, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're on there. Truth say, yeah. Even if the girls are saying that they want the R&B boys back, yeah. They don't. A guy's coming to your crib, crying, spinning in the rain. You're going to be like, I, girls, I got the ick. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, saying. I got the ick. Where are you going to do that? There's so much things that you can get the ick from. That like, there's, there's a lot of pressure on the man, them, you know? <laughs> the Every time I've been driving, yeah, and the girl's in the passenger, and I know I'm, my trousers are low. But I don't want to step out and let the bum crack. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, so you park bum up. Bum crack is a big ick. I know it's a big ick. So you park up and say, yo, babes, hey, step out, man. You step out first. Step out first. Is that what you're <laughs> I know where I my boxes are. Like... I know where it is. It's a bit like, no, I'm not saying the bum crack's out. I'm just saying that there's a potential. It's, it's poking. I ain't trying to risk it. It's so you say, poking. Oh, babes, I'm fucking dead. I step out so I can park quickly. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> He's like, I'll whiz it in quickly. You didn't even need my help. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, let's go inside. <laughs> Do you know what? Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta, have, you gotta check your mirrors, man. <laughs> you gotta check your mirrors, man. <laughs> Large up specs. <laughs> you gotta check your mirrors, man. <laughs>
Listen, yeah. I didn't know. Listen, Banda would tell me, oh, yeah, just step out quickly. I'm just trying to, I just need to park up. I just need to park up just quickly. Yeah, they need to I didn't adjust. know because they pull up, pull up they, there. They, no, they need to adjust something. something. Whether it's quickly tap the oud, gum, <laughs> whatever the case may be, they need to do something in that space and it has to be out of your vision. So please step out. One sec. I'm so dead. You're dropping truth. You're dropping real you, I have a question for you, though. Another, another thing that I saw on, on social media, the mm-hmm. mandem. And this was a, a this was a tweet that I saw, and um, this girl was like, "You can't call a man, you can't call a woman a gold digger if all you have is aluminium foil, plastic, and rubber." Mm. And Kalechi went on to say that a lot of times it's the men that the women are not even checking for I the ones talking. that are complaining about gold diggers are you are you a gold digger man do you complain because listen those are the conversations that guys have within themselves i don't complain because if you can if you can get it why not mm. you can get it why not i'm not here to i'm not here to rain on your parade and she, she's true i'm sorry what she said is true mm-hmm. when she said mer i was like oh my god she took it back she there, said, you know? <laughs> she said mer i said nah she's taking the piss she's funny though but um no she's right she's right a lot of man but that's but this is why i don't engage in it there's a mm-hmm. lot of man online talking a lot of stuff and when you look at their reality, it doesn't match up. Andrew Tate is the advocate these he, he, days. No, see, Andrew Tate talks for himself. And he feels as if he's giving advice to guys underneath him. Cool. But the fact that he believes you're underneath him is is there. Like, you're not speaking to the same woman he's talking to. You don't have the money that he has. Mm-hmm. So how can you be like, yeah, Andrew I'm Tate said this. I'm going to allow it, man. There's but then you're, you're in the single bed. One pillow. <laughs> Bro, you're, you're telling girls come back to my yard and and you're hoping she says yes. You know she says yes, it's panic. Just like, <laughs> it's panic. That's when you actually go home and realize, shit, I've got a single bed, one pillow, no Netflix. I sis, what's your login again? Oh, hey, man, man. Can, can I borrow the PS5? Please? Mom's like, in the next room. Do you know what I'm saying? Mom's in the next room. Like, like it's, it's and, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. But don't be online advocating for stuff you've never experienced. That's what this this was my issue, and I've been saying this again. I'm I've had the conversation on this show about some women and this men with money, men with money. I think they do too much. I've already I've had this conversation, yeah. But a lot of times the guys that really really push like that like i remember one time i had a i did a tiktok and i was like i would love a guy that will provide for me emotionally and financially because i know i could contribute the same they did not hear the contribute the same thing they (laughs) went death they went death why all these girls always looking for men with Ah, can ah. can i can i can i say two things talk to me so one i share a story um i was in dubai with my friends my friends have see this is the thing about money if i said my friends have money They'll be in the comments like, how much money does your friends have? We've seen your friends. So, no, no, the money conversation is hard because, mm-hmm. like, I can say I'm broke. What do you mean you're broke? There's always someone broker. Cool. Mm-hmm. I can say I'm rich. There's always someone richer. So, the variable is very, very mad. When I when I see tweets like, oh, my man has to earn 100K, I always ask the following question. It, there's always to be a follow-up question. What does 100K look like to you? Exactly, yeah. Like, what, what is it that you think a guy with 100K is going to give you? And when they start listing what they want, yeah? So, my thing is, Okay, now you've listed that. Is there anything else? Make sure you've, you've filled this question. The properly. itinerary. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What makes you think a guy with earning 70K can't do that? All of a sudden, they can't answer the question. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's very confusing when it's like a guy with money, money, but what is it you want? Because some girls will tell you, I want to be able to go on holiday every month. Ah, ah you don't have a job. <laughs> we're bitch, we're busy. <laughs> like, don't you have a job? We're busy. How are you taking so much time off like, to go on holiday? Oh, 12 times? Do you know what I mean? Word. Like, wait. Word. Word. We want to go hack a sand sexy fish, congestion charge zone. Ah. I only go there when I'm celebrating. So what are we celebrating every weekend? Trust me, what's there to what celebrate? We, do you know what I mean? In like, this what, economy. Why? Do you know what I mean? In this economy, like, when, when, when the electricity is lifting, please, there's no time for ha- so go and top up your, go and top <laughs> up your key. Go like, top your key. They're telling us right now, yeah, that energy prices are going, doing a mazine this winter. You can and imagine. And you're talking about, oh, if you want to see me, you got to go to Hakkasan. Babes, when was the last time you went to Hakkasan? <laughs> Second story. We were in Dubai, yeah? Mm-hmm. My friends with money. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much money they have, but I just know when the bill comes, they pay. Per. So, however, why are you living like a bad B? I I'm love ju- that for you. No, I'm saying, as in, we're not arguing about the bill. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I contribute paid. as well. Why well, am I a bad B? <laughs> I thought you were saying, we're, oh, we're, they pay no, for the come food. On, <laughs> we all pay, but there's no <laughs> co- uncomfortability with the pain. It's you're just not like, pe- you're not peeling. You're yeah, not peeling. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, all right, the bill's da 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 da. All right, cool, here's mine. Do you know what I mean? Cool. Yeah. So, we've gone into this club now. Um, One Oak. 
Dubai. Anybody who's been one of we had the table in the back, so you can <laughs> fit about fifteen to twenty people. Yeah, who we had some American girls with us, Michigan to be exact. So if they're watch ever watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Michi, Michi. Um, so we've ordered a bottle, um, a Magnum, the big bottle. I'm talking about the I don't know what it's called yet, but it's like I think it's five liter bottle of Ciroc. Okay. But when it's come, it's already open. So we're like, hmm, this is a bit suspect. Why is it not closed? So one of the men then pours a drink. Taste the vodka. I said, bro, this ain't Ciroc. This ain't Ciroc. I'm not having it. Mm-hmm. All the other bottles will come, the Dom P, the tequila, all that stuff. But this vodka has to go back. So we call the manager now. Managers is obviously not going to admit that that's what they did. Mm-hmm. But they're just like, we can give you the money back, but it's a process. We're like, no. It wasn't a process when you Today. took our money. You know the ones there where you yeah. took our money instantly, but instantly. all of a sudden I got to wait 28 days for it to return. Yeah. I want it now. Or give us another bottle and it closed. Anyway, going back and forth, that took about an hour. And out of respect, because our boy is over there, out of respect, we didn't touch the alcohol that we have in case it's a thing where everything has to go back. Mm-hmm. The American girls. Oh, we not going to get our drink on? No, like, brother, relax. We're sorting out something. Oh, no. But it's only Surat, is it? Anyway, and she said something like, she saw the tequila and it wasn't 1942. She goes, I only drink 1942. So you lot better sort that out as well. In our minds, we're like, what's wrong with this girl, bro? We're like, anyway, didn't say anything. Oh, no. Cool. So my, my boys come back and it, uh, probably about a good 45 minutes. Like it was taking long. They mm-hmm. were just trying to violate it, but eventually he, he didn't back down. So they've come back with another bottle and they've given us complimentary shots, mm-hmm. but he hasn't come out yet. Just the shots have come. So we're like, yo, listen, we're trying to get lit. So clearly, cause the shots have come, he's cool. So we've all grabbed a shot, all done cheers, whatever, drank it, boom. The same American girl. <sighs> If that's a, if that's a sorry shot, then they definitely gave you like the house shit. <gasps> no! Dude. And then we're like, um, why have you like? Do you know the difference? She's like, yeah, I drink nineteen forty. Like I said earlier, I drink nineteen forty two. All right, cool. My boys come back. So yo, did you man get the shots? What what go on? So I asked him. I said, what was the shots? Come on, bro. You think I'm playing around? Nineteen forty two. Everyone looked at the girl. <laughs> Hello, hello, 1942 connoisseur. Connoisseur, you know your drink. I thought you said you know your drink. She was embarrassed. Oh no. Embarrassed. She was bare talking. She was trying to do bad B for you. She well, was why? To do bad B for You're already you. in the club. You've already bought the juice. Relax. <laughs> You're doing too much now. Oh, ladies. That's like, so embarrassing. Look, no. it's very embarrassing. It's really I embarrassing. Keep, I keep, I keep, I keep, I keep saying for the, Listen, I feel like this, you get to a certain level, that stuff, all the, just for like... What did Meg the Stanley do? She said, listen, it's not a finesse if, it, if he's buying you food, if he's buying you drink. Like, it's not that deep. Like, food and drink for me is not that deep. Like, I remember I went to I went to a party recently and um, there was a guy that was talking to us. And, you know, what? I think the issue, and it works both ways, the issue with guys, they know girls get gassed over the drinks, innit? So this guy was holding on to one bottle of, was it Hennessy or something? So he was like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna buy you a lot of drinks. I'm gonna buy you a lot of drinks. So it was me and my girl and, and two other girls. And the other girls, they were very, you know, when they start shaking, they're like, oh, okay, okay. So I said, okay. Oh. So I said, okay, <laughs> are you gonna get, I looked at him, I said, are you gonna get the drink now? Are you gonna, are you gonna get the drink now? Cause I'm actually thirsty. Mm. And you, you bearing in mind, you came to me. Not that I was begging you, I was hanging around. Mm. He was like, then he was looking at me, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the way he started shifting, so I went to the bar and I got myself a bottle. The mm. fuck? And I came back and if you look dumb, do you know what I'm saying? It's a thing where when you got your own shit, all that, all that drinking and everything, it doesn't impress you. That's what I'm all trying to, I'm trying to tell these girls here. Yeah, if you get your own shit, yeah, you start to realise these, you, you start to realise why men get upset about these gold digger conversations because aside from the, the drink that you used your whole rent money to pay and, uh, and the food, uh, where's, where's, he God, there's not much. Wait, wait, where's he living that the bottle was his rent money? Trust me, box. It, 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 <laughs> the bottle is your rent money. I'm telling you, when you actually start to deep it, that, that stuff, that, that, that you know, the popping bottles and that, that's just scratching surface but, of shit. But that level of understanding, it takes time. Like, it takes experience as well. It takes time and it gets, it takes getting your own shit. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. What? Yeah, no, that, that, that too. But what I mean is, for example, I expect like someone who's fresh out of you need to get excited about stuff like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to, I'm not going to look at a girl who gets excited that she was invited to a table with three bottles. Mm-hmm. If a rapper's invited her, she's 18, 19, 20, maybe even 21. All these 21 years. Listen, see, when I was 21, we were not talking about Dubai. BBL, teeth, every, oh, the, go- uh, the young no, girls. See, wait, hold on one second. Let me even adjust my hat so you can I'm see I'm finished. No, 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 please, I'm please. finished. One sec. 
I have learned, yeah, to stay out of women's business. <laughs> well done. So all this BBL, filler, Botox, filters, all of this packaged is in a box that I do not open. I love that. I cannot share my thoughts on You're it because so if you wanted to know my thoughts, I, who, you'd kick me off this. this. <laughs> no, because don't get me wrong. Like, because oh, sometimes women's argument is, yeah, but you don't like the pictures. I've liked pictures of dogs. I don't have a dog. <laughs> right. I've liked pictures of cars. I don't have houses. I'm never probably going to buy in this lifetime unless I unless I say yes to some very questionable activities. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. So liking is not that deep. Like I'm telling you, I'm not a fan of certain things. So what do you like? Ah, oh, the natural look, baby. Come on. When you were doing uh, salt in your eye, lashes was over here. Did I not message you? So, yo, this video is funny. That's what I, I like. People being themselves. Be you. That That's what I like. I, I, in this whole world full of fake, I just like a little bit of reality, man. And when <laughs> I see it, when I see it, I commend it. I rate it. Do you know I what? I don't I know, like man. That. I, love, I love the men that love us for ourselves. Mm. Trust me. That's very important. And without further ado, guys, I would love to introduce my guest today. Now, you guys know I'm diabetic. I'm I'm quite diabetic. And and every now and again, I need a sugar rush. This is good. So I had to bring myself some chocolate in the motherfucking oh, building. <laughs> get in there, you know. All right, we got a toast to that one. Hey! Yo, yeah, that intro was Listen, cold. If I was a guy, if I was a guy, I'd be scary. Mm. <laughs> mm. Now, do you know what? It doesn't work, but sometimes you don't need the bars. Actually, anyway, let me not interrupt. Continue your intro. Right, guys. So we got a chocolate. We got we got some chocolate in the building. He is absolutely phenomenal. Mm. He is a entertainer, a <sighs> businessman, and he is one third of the award-winning podcast three shots of motherfucking tequila come on we have the amazing thank you 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 can i just say you look too good thank you thank you i mean you look too good I give thanks to god my mom my dad everybody jeans. everybody we thank god everybody how has your week been talk to me what's been going on with you what? I've been in my house. It's too hot. Listen, yesterday, my family have come over from Nige. Mm -hmm. One of my uncles called me. Uh-uh. Toba -uh. now. You're not going to come and see me. I said, brother, have you stepped outside? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see you another time. Dad, that, that, no. <laughs> I spent the whole day, so pretty much the whole week, besides going to Millennium Tour mm -hmm. and obviously recording a podcast, I've been in my house, man, just chilling on my sofa, watching TV, man, YouTube videos, Netflix... So this heat wave goes, man. I'm tired. We pray for heat often in the UK. It comes and we pray for it to go away. No, because we're not we're not prepared for the heat in this mm -hmm. country. It's true. Like we don't have aircon. It's true. A lot of American households do have aircon yeah, built used to in. The heat. Yeah, nah, not us, boy. It's some digger digger fan, you know. No, the man. fan that is <laughs> nah. Os what's the term? Us. Oscillating, brother, allow it. Come back, man. It's just my the fact that I have is simply blowing the hot air that's already circulating. Listen, it's not suffering. I didn't know for a very long time. I thought fans were supposed to cool down air, but all it does is it moves air. That oh is yeah, you have to get aircon to give you the frosty air that the you require. Heat, the air fan is blowing the same heat back right back at my face. I fucking hate it. And my I live on I live high. Mm. So you see, me and the son at the moment, we are boys. Like, it's close. Listen, it wakes you up. <laughs> Listen, I've been waking up at 7 a.m. As the sun is arising, she'll wake me up and say, Joy, son, stood up. You need to get um, blackout blinds. That's what I have. Do you know what? I do, clearly, clearly I do. I've just yeah, moved into a new blind. space. I, I didn't think I, I didn't think this would be a problem, but I wake up so early because the sun hits, like, mm. Very yeah, you like need, you need, straight. You need blackout blinds. It's a lot. This heat is not cute. I wish I want to travel though. Like heat in the UK is also very very different to heat in the US. This one is clammy. It's moist. It's, it's not the, sexy. Um, it's all the pollution. And then you're there. working. Like what 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 what? what imagine, get, imagine getting on the train. The Central Line. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry for everybody. Central Line in this heat. You are going. You are in hell. You are going to hell. 
that's her basically they need to sort it out man they need to sort, they it, need, out. They need to sort it out but anyways i want to play a game with you so we actually this week and we don't usually but this week because you're here we have some dilemmas <laughs> obviously it's only fitting as you are a dilemmas man on your show so i said i really really would <laughs> love your opinion on some of the bad girls and bad boys is problem. Okay? okay, cool. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna whip it up now. So you guys have been sending in your dilemmas, and me and Mr. Taser are going to break it down. So, are you ready? Mm-hmm. I had the worst experience, sex experience last night, and I'm convinced the guy thinks I'm a virgin because it only lasted for two seconds. <sighs> Truthfully, it's because it's been a minute since I was laid up. Shall I tell him the truth? This is really embarrassing. I thought I had it in me, but forgot how painful it can be. Okay. Oh, when it lost, it lasted two seconds because she said stop. Or not yeah. finished. I think she's told him to stop. Oh, okay. And now he's thinking that she's not she's she's not an actionable woman. Okay, so this is this is um this is the advice I'd give to that, yeah. I I'm a very big advocate for asking questions yeah. and also sharing information. Agreed. So if you're if you've got to the point yeah where you feel comfortable with laying down with this person, you should at that point feel comfortable to tell this person what you don't like and what you do like. Yeah. Do you sometimes say? Mm-hmm. So if you reach if you've decided to lay down with a guy yeah, and then in that moment he's panicking for example, see so he does the rush rush thing, and you're not even wet yet. Big man, slow down, bro. Slow down. Why is your dick out? Relax. Yeah. I am not wet. I'm not there yet. Mm-hmm. Start the engine, warm me up. Do you know what I mean? Like, tell him. And I don't think any guy should be embarrassed if a girl does that as well, on the flip side. Mm-hmm. You should want to explore her body. You just you can't just be ramming it. Like, what are you doing? And and these the same man will go in a group chat, like, yeah, 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 I got Clyde. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, sir. <laughs> you didn't. No, you did not, Do you know what I mean? So I believe if, you get, if you're able to get to that point where you can have sex, I feel like you should be able to have a conversation to say, my brother, because remember, I don't know who you've been with. So I don't know what he did or vice versa, what she did. And, and what didn't work and what does work. Because the person I was previously with might like it this way. You might like it that way. That doesn't mm-hmm. mean I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I'm just accustomed to doing it this way. So it's a conversation. There's, some, there's certain so, things that I'm just like, you know what, I'm not even interested in doing that. I'm not doing that. And they're like, all right, you're childish. All right, cool. Let's not do it then. But that's not what I want to do. Yeah. So you got to have the conversation. Honestly, I feel like communication for me, and it's a thing that I've learned recently because before, everybody was just freestyling. I feel like a <laughs> yeah. lot of women, they are too afraid to say what they like and especially what they don't like mm-hmm. because they're afraid of rejection hurting the male ego whatever whatever but there was a guy that i was seeing casually and he used to ask me questions and i was like say this is kind of sexy he'd be like do you like it like this do you like it like that like he actually like through the process he was asking me like i just said okay this is cool mm-hmm. i like it. and then i realized like how how much better our sex life was because it's like now he knew my body like yeah. that guy can make me come like this shit do you see my point like that because he he took the time at the beginning to ask the right questions but also there was some stuff that i didn't like and i'm like babe like the way you're licking i don't like some mm. girls like licking on yeah, the neck yeah, yeah. i don't like Listen, that one, shit. i remember one time don't was, slob on my shit one like. girl grabbed me <laughs> like my neck and like was like trying to get my face in her face here yeah. but it wasn't like to kiss me because every time i'm, I'm thinking you want to kiss i'm getting closer and she's, she's backing up <laughs> so in my mind i'm like what are you trying to do so i stopped and let her do, do you know what the girl done <sighs> She was ready to let one go. I said, like, yo. She trying to spit in your face? No, my mouth. Your mouth? But she was trying to like angle my face so it was like she could let it. I'm like, this isn't me. I'm not I'm not on that. And then she was like, I'm, like, I'm not on that. So now, so what happened is, in order for her to get her fix, this kissing became very slobbery. <gasps> Oh like no. she's proper like getting the saliva in the lip. I'm like, why is everything just Why is dripping? Oh no. But that's her. That's her. So obviously after we had a conversation, I was like, I'm not really a fan of that, you know. And she's like, oh, okay, cool. And then that was it. No, was it. Do you know what? It's, it's so it's, nice. It's not, it makes it's the not experience better. Yeah, it's, it's not embarrassing to say, listen, I like this, I like this, I don't like this. Just just have the conversation. I feel like it makes it definitely makes the sex better for the both people when you know, like, listen, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. You can meet in the middle, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, if he and if he doesn't know what he's doing, then guide him. If she doesn't know what she's doing, then guide her. But you have to talk about it first because it's, I feel like girls are very quick to be quiet 
and they come in the group chat and be like, oh, it was fucking dead. But this these is what times, I'm saying. His, but, but these times his ex-girlfriend liked the strangling and stuff. I'm not, I'm not a fan of, I'm not even a fan of strangling. Mm. I don't mind it, but it's not, it's not what turns me on. But yeah. some girls, they, they like to yeah. be suffocated, it kill me, strangle me. It really is about having that communication. And you have to deal with each case, case by case. Listen, case by case, listen, never be too, Never be too quiet to say what you want in the bedroom. <laughs> Listen, be sometimes be selfish. Seriously, sh- if you like it, then say you like no, it. No, but also on the flip side is what I want to say here is mm-hmm. that also be mindful that the, what you like and what you don't like, the other person might not understand. That's very get. true. So, no, I don't want it. I don't want it to be a situation where it's like, Ugh, you want me to do that? It's like, <laughs> just say, okay, you know what? That's not something that I can do. Don't make the person feel childish. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean, they were, like, you know what I mean, everyone's journey is different. So I always say like, sex is like a dance. Some people can, some people can't. Some people can, some people can't, but it's for you to do ballroom. You know ballroom? (laughs) Somebody has to step to the left, step forward, step to the side. It's a unison thing. I like like the angle. Take two to tango. (laughs) <laughs> but my book is coming out in in water stones <laughs> all right next dilemma this gent was my sneaky link and he made me believe he was in love with me um and he was giving me mixed signals he ended up breaking my heart i wasn't built for the no catching feelings game wait hold on a second it, it started with my sneaky link yeah, so this jump was my sneaky link and he made me believe he was... What do you, what do you mean by he made me see, believe? See, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Now we need, now we need, now we need more. He we made more. me believe. How did he make you believe? I spoke about this in the last episode, yeah. There's a certain type of man that I'm very scared about because I, I can't do casual because I will fall in love with you. I'm sorry. I'm the type. Sex Are you too. vocal about that? I'm very, I will tell you I will love you. Mm-hmm. I will love you. Don't think I'm not one of those ones that be like, I tried to fake pretend that I was one of those girls. Yeah, I can separate the feet. Bitch, no, I can't. Yeah, but some guys will tell you, listen, but I told you what it was. So if they call you and say, yo, Joyce, I want to see be- you, and you say yes, then you, they've told you what the contract is. Exactly. But here's the thing. This is where we go wrong as women. This is where I went wrong for a long time. Mm-hmm. There are these boys that I like to call the boyfriend experience. Oh. They... Oh. Go on, go on. They don't want to just fuck you. They want to take you out. They want to take you to dinner. They want to whisper sweet nothings in your they ear. They want to whisper in your ear as they're licking it. They want to massage you with oil. I was going to say, yeah. Uh, they want to they wanna pick you up. They might even pick, send you flowers. They want to pick you up, take you out, drop you, slut you, sleep over, make you breakfast, and then tell you they don't want anything serious. Yes, yeah, It's tough. fucking scary. But if they told you that's what they're doing in the beginning. No, but scary. That's the mixed signal she's talking about. Yeah. That's the mixed signal. Listen, if you want to do ca- casual, yeah, for me, is, yo, we say, what, you home? All right, cool. I'm coming over. You come over. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe stay over. Maybe even, maybe stay over. Two minutes, yeah. Just leave. Sometimes it can extend to staying over because sometimes when you're doing a session, you'll get tired. Okay, but if he leaves, would you be offended? No. Uh, pff, this is what I'm saying. I've left many a times. <laughs> <laughs> My excuse is usually, yo, congestion charge, you know. Why are you trying to pay congestion? <laughs> oh, so you only fuck bitches in six. congestion? No, I'm saying if I got to go through. Remember, I live, I live quay north. Yeah. If I'm going, if I'm going south, late night rendezvous. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get there for 10, watch a movie, midnight. Then we start getting play fighting about one. Mm-hmm. Then we end about 105. No, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> we end, yeah, and then we might just chill, have a little chat, maybe do round two. Mm-hmm. Chill. She falls asleep. I fall asleep, for example. I make sure I'm waking up before six, ideally around 4 35, just to bust out. One time I bust out, yeah. Oh, you just gonna leave. You uh, didn't even say bye. I can't wake you up and say, I've just slided you for two rounds. Like, why am I waking you up? Let me let you sleep, man. My, you, you didn't even fool me on the forehead before I left. You didn't, you didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you didn't even know. Now all of a sudden you you rolled over trying to hit the side. I'm not there. All of a sudden, oh, so you just gotta leave, huh? I'm like, yo, congestion charge, man. Come on, you know I'm gonna come back. Like, chill out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching I was watching um one of your episodes and you were saying how you you are a, a, a casual sex man. Yeah. So you're did just, I? You did say that. Which episode was this? I don't think actually. Oh. It, it was it was either yours or your episode you did with Chucky. 
Oh yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big advocate for that still. You're an advocate for sex for for casual sex. I mean, I fell into it, mm-hmm. and it felt good. And the person I was with was she understood. She she come like she wrote the book, so I kind of had to because I was doing the whole boyfriend experience, and she was like, "Turn it down, man. What are you doing? <laughs> like, what you did like, do you know what I mean? Chill out, man." But in my mind, I'm like, "Yo, like, I enjoy kicking it with you. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Chill out, man. Like, it's not that. Anyway." Found out she had a boyfriend. Like, yay. Listen, that's I'm telling you, girls who casual sex, they got boyfriends. I'm telling you. I was like, right. You're a sad man. That's why I can't get more. You're exciting, bruv. So I had to learn the hard way on like how to like kind of play that field. And then... Um, yeah, I'm so finished. With, ex- with experience, I think I've kind of... I understand it now. And the main thing is just being transparent from the beginning. That's mm-hmm. the main thing I've learned after all this time. Just... just pl- let them know from the beginning. Sometimes they don't listen. Because mm-hmm. again, like you said, I've made a mistake where we've been just casual. Literally, late night, she calls me after a rave. I call her after a party, whatever. Motive. Usually, AM link-ups. Mm-hmm. One time, I was heading to her house and I was like, yo, Avengers just dropped. I don't think I'm going to have another time to see it besides literally now. There's mm-hmm. a midnight showing right by your house. Let's go. Go on cinema, watch the movie, left, went back to her yard, did whatever we did. In the morning, so does that mean? Does that mean what? Is that what I mean? <laughs> she didn't. Does that, oh. does, that, does that mean what? She goes, what? Does that mean that like, we're like seeing seeing each other? I said, Yo, we went to the cinema once. You wore pajamas. <laughs> like it the wasn't. Oh, sisters. I was like, it's not. It can't be that deep. Oh, so that's sister. when I was like, then when I started asking like my my friends around me that are uh, girls, but they're I, like, Yeah, Taser, you 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 crossed the line. One cinema trip. But I do want to say something. There are some really, really, and these, and I appreciate you men that are very direct, because mm-hmm. there are some, there are some criminals that will really, really try and make it look like it's going somewhere and, it's and be very vague, and it's not. And they won't, they won't directly tell you, listen, yo, like I'm just trying to do the boom, 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 and go about my business. They'll be like, oh yeah, you know, we'll see how it goes, we'll see where it goes, and obviously in a woman's mind, they're like, okay, cool this could possibly lead to somewhere. And they're just looking for hanky-panky. After the hanky-panky, they start moving mad. Like, I, I, I've, I've even even growing up, I've, I've dealt with guys like that, that will come to you on a, I'm serious, I want to make you my girl thing. I'm trying to, I'm, you know, I eventually, eventually, they'll use the word, they love that right. eventually word, you know. Mm-hmm. They yeah, because obviously it. it buys them time. That's all it is, it's just buying them time. My question would be, before the hanky-panky, mm-hmm. if he was behaving... Like behaving, bear in mind I said behaving, not saying behaving as if you wanted to make you your girl. Nah, no, nah, no, 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 no. Then I, then I can't complain. They like, do. You, you were bamboozled. But listen, if he's just saying you, it, but nah, his actions don't you, match. Forget about that. You, one thing about me, I'm not the speak spoke spack type of girl. You ain't trying to whisper sweet nothing into my ear. Do you know You've got to see it. I have to see it. And for me, again, I can't do casual because I'm sorry. You can't. You can't just come in like that. Mm. You got to do the whining and dining. You got to do. For me, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's a turn off for me when guys spend money on me. Okay, mm-hmm. that's my thing. I I'm pretty love sure a lot of women are wired the same. When so use this moment to and agree. When <laughs> when guys spend money on me and try and make me feel like a princess, they'll take me this way, they'll drive me this place, they'll book this place. That I'm just mm. the pussy's moistening up. Do you know what I mean? Then now they will now do the boom boom boom. Yeah. And then they start moving crazy. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How many times was he doing this boyfriend experience that you're talking about? Do you know what? Yeah, the, uh, this is... See, from those experiences where I thought somebody liked me because of the material things they can give to me, I didn't realise that that was just a gameplay. So I've had two boyfriend experiences that I know in my mind... For it to be a boyfriend experience, you know in your mind this person is not here to be your boyfriend. He's just giving you all the stuff that you know you would want in a relationship but he ain't trying to give you that so experience so you knew. It. yeah oh, okay, cool. so it's div- it's not boyfriend experience if you don't know okay it's okay. not if you like that one is bamboozle man that one is confusion <laughs> boyfriend experience when you know it's casual in your hearts of hearts the guy has told you black and white yo this is just bombastics but he just but he spends but money but he's spending money he's opening car doors he's do- ah there's opening car doors oh my god no no i not see, see don't get me wrong i i hear people say that but I've never seen it. I swear to God, men are scared. They would t- they, like, fam. I've ha- the 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 boyfriend experience I had yeah, That's when I realized. I said, ah, I nearly slipped. I nearly, I nearly slipped. 
<laughs> but he again, I really, I really like him. I feel like he really showed me something because he, again, because he was he was communication and he was like, yo, like you used to remind me every now and again, yo, like you're my G in it. And I'm like, yeah. You know that was he just wake up, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Man, humble G quickly. Just, do you know is do you know is um, women do this thing, yeah, where Oh, I'm letting too much secrets go, Tell man. us, we need the tea. You lot do this thing, yeah, that when you really like a guy, yeah, mm-hmm. you get glazy-eyed. <sighs> but you don't realise you're doing it, but if the guy notices it, ah, you are finished. Because he knows now. That, uh, that What's m- the glazy eye? You need to okay, bring this do shit m- Do you remember that video that went viral, yeah? Um, I think I posted it. I reposted it, sorry. Where it was like the girl in a um, petrol station, she had like a white fur jacket. And the, the caption was, when he knows that you like him. And her face was kind of like, like she was like, she was like, oh, I've, like, cause she's giving it away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's a, there's a moment where even, do you, know, do you know when it happens as well? Usually when the guy's being geeky or, 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 or quirky mm-hmm. and you're watching him and you just give him that, there's that look you give him and cause he's not looking at you, you just do it. But some guys can see me without looking at you. And it's just like, yeah, I've got her. And it's I just like, I've got her. Some guys don't know. This is why us. This is why you're quiet. We're, we're always like this. We're always standing like. <laughs> you're listen, not gonna get away. You ain't finna catch. What? You ain't finna catch me, my nigga. What? You good? <laughs> you good, my nigga? What? Hey. <laughs> go. so, so listen, man. Them. Sometimes you're at home like, yo, why is she being so stiff? That's why. No, she's it's realized. True. It's re- she's realized. Shit. When I find like someone, I'm extra guy. abusive. Today. Yeah. Fuck. I like this guy, man. I can't let him know. That's me, boy. Call him, no? That's me, boy. You ain't, finna, you ain't finna catch me like a rat. But again, that goes back to experience, fellas. Experience will tell you those situations. Some of you don't <laughs> even know. Just fumble in the bag. Brother, she likes you, man. Stop being oh, stupid. Man, stop snitching on my ass like crazy. <laughs> All right, let's give the final dilemma. You ready? Uh-huh. Hey, I just want to say I love you. Big up Go you. On. I've been talking to this guy for over a year. He continues to ghost me, but we have had we've not had sex yet. Every time he comes back, we talk for hours. I only wanted to be friends with benefits and he was never available to meet up. I'm confused about what he wants. Yeah, that's very confusing still. Cause I was just gonna say Um the reason he dips he probably dips in and out is because he's tried, got a no, so he dips. Yeah. But if you're actually saying, Come and get this and he's not making time. I don't know. Again, I'd more. I'd need more. He will ghost you. Come back. So, do you know what? Yeah, that's maybe. He's, do you know? Do you know? It could be pressure. Pressure to do what? To perform. Because men get that too. Just they just don't admit it. Sometimes men talk to a girl and they don't expect. Like a guy could DM you today. You're thinking, oh, you had the energy to DM me. Mm-hmm. He probably was off his rock and thought, you know, I got the confidence now. DM. Boom. By the time you replied, man sobered up, confidence gone. So you've replied like, oh, hey, he doesn't have to control the conversation anymore. It's mm-hmm. just it's all over the place. You've, you've seen the pictures. Yeah, so what? You in the gym? <laughs> Brother, you, you, I don't even know you. You're asking, what's this, this line of questioning is brazy. Are you going out this weekend? What, without me? Brother. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, nah, do you know what? Yeah, I, that without me kills me one thing, one thing about Taze is that he finna give us some, some good game. I would like you to start a course to teach no, 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 no. him <laughs> I would, I would, I would personally buy the book. No, but I'm just saying, like you, you, when I, when I like, I like to explain things, yeah, mm-hmm. and make it, make it in relatable. So I always use a scenario that I pretty much the majority have been through, so they mm-hmm. kind of get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. You've been there where the conversation is a bit, like, but it's like it's just say the right things and you you we can boom bam you're looking at your phone like bro don't fuck this up yeah man. like you've got this <laughs> I promise you I've packaged it I've shaved it's in fine nicker all you need to do is you're looking at your phone like just say the right thing my bro <laughs> man message you Nothing. bullshit or he might message you yeah so just going out with the lads yeah but I'll, I'll shout you after ah so I'm not priority oh finished you ain't see me tonight finished <laughs> finished finish, finish, finish. like, but certain man know that sometimes you just gotta say I'm just running a few errands 
Don't say you're with the boys. Just say you're running errands. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Trust me. My man will be like, go and marry your, men, your boyfriends then. Go and you know marry I mean? all of them. Make it look like you're hardworking, man. Like you're out here getting to the bag, like you're bro. You know what I mean? Like you're doing something productive. <laughs> nah, I hear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like come guys, on, man. that was Dilemmas. And guys, if you want to join in Dilemmas, um, I will be putting up a link on Instagram. But thank you to everybody who has messaged in. And we hope that you helped you. If not, then go and faint somewhere. Jeez. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. I love them. I love them. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just, I'm just joking with them. They're I'm just, just joking with them. It's CNT, baby. All right, cool. We are gonna move on to a very important segment on our show. Obviously, it's, it's. I mean, it's all fun and games being, being fine. I'm being chocolate, I'm being... Where is this going? I'm being a hench. And, you know, I beg, the, continue. Cut you yeah, on the, the Hermes and that. On the, <sighs> all right, it's all fun and, it's all fun and games looking the way you do. But the question is, sir, mm-hmm. are you smart? I mean, I've gotten this far in life with my brain. Mm-hmm. So I can say, yeah, I'm relatively smart. You got a little something, something. Okay, yeah, cool. So something. this is the name of the game. I'm going to give you 10 questions. Mm-hmm. You are going to give me one answer. You can't tell me Becky, Susie, Adam, Sephora, Jesus Christ. You got me one answer. We're going to accept the first answer. And we're going to see how many you get. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? Which is like general knowledge? It's cultural knowledge. Okay. Which is the same thing. Damn. Are you ready? I'm ready. Bar five. What is the capital of Scotland? Yee. Mm. Wait, Edinburgh. Are we locking in Edinburgh? Yeah. Taser says Edinburgh. That is correct. <sighs> <laughs> There's no way I'm getting that wrong. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Edinburgh is the capital. People that said Glasgow is actually the biggest city, but it's not the capital. So, question number six. Puff, shoe, and philo. Are you looking in the red? Yes. Yeah. So, the correct answer was Offset from the Migos. Offset's got five kids. He's got five whole kids. Five whole kids. Swear. Yes. He's got bad kids. Have you not seen his album cover with all his five children? No, I, saw, I know he's got the one that looks like him and then he's got the one with Cardi B. No, the one in between, I don't know. Bear. I should have just said Offset, man, because he you should, you were, I mean, was warm. Yeah, you no, was, I was warm. warm. I was warming. All right, question number 10. In which city did jazz music originate? Ah, uh, uh, no. <laughs> I don't know this one. Take a guess. Come on, man. I'll just say New York. Taser's locking in New York. That's absolutely incorrect. Yeah, I know. It is New Orleans, Louisiana. You thought I was going to get that? I thought you were going to get it. No That's, way. come on. Come on, Taser. There's no way I was getting that. Taser, so editor, let's put up the leaderboard. We have Taser in our new season as number two. To be honest, you could have got one. Mm. You got five. Six. You got five. Is it five? Five. Mm. If it's six, sorry. It I, might I be. thought it was six. If it's five, cool. Guys, editor, double check because you know my my counting is not the best. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you. Has yeah, anyone got right. ten before? Nobody's got ten. Oh, okay, cool. In this in this fifty people plus, I'm still waiting for someone to get ten. But I just want to make a notable shout out. Obviously, we had some people at home play. Are you smart at home this week? So I am going to mention the top three people who got it right first and that is Cindy Murray, that is Timayo Ladipo and also we have That So Crystal. Big up you fucking guys for getting that right and the question was 
named three of Daniel Kaluuya's movies and they smashed it. So big up you lot. We're gonna play that. You asking me another the question? time? No, no, no. I mean that was the question for the bad oh. boys and bad girls. And they got a, they, they did a good job. Big up you lot. Can I name three? Go on. Get out. Nope. And Sicario. Okay, but you don't you don't win anything. So. I know. I'm not. <laughs> Just wanted Daniel to know, you know what I'm saying? DSS and all that. Big up. Are you part of the team? Come on. Are you asking me questions? <laughs> I'm still waiting for my certificate from Buck, though. But I, I've been initiated. To be honest, I would like you to be the leader. I don't know if that's too much pressure. Damson. <laughs> Damson. In the comments. My brother Damson. Guys, in the comments. Hey. Who should be the leader of the I beg, don't, 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 don't start doing that. Yes. Are we nominating Taser for leader? I'm not running. I don't have a party. Damson interest. I, you get, I'm part of Damson's he, party. How about that? He, you get my version. Hot topics of the week, baby. All right, we are going to move on to hot topics of the week. Of course, it has been a chaotic week, and we are going to start with our hot new releases. Ooh. We've got Meg The Stallion. Mm-hmm. Her new album has just come out. Her uh, album dropped today. Her album dropped today. 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 And you're going to ask me questions about it? Did you not listen to it? Uh, come on, man. It's just dropped. Yeah, I listened to it on the way to nah, my train. That's not the first thing I listened to. The today. album is called Traumatize, and um, Meg the Stallion said it's something eclectic, it's different, it's a new sound. You haven't listened to it? No. What, what are you saying about Meg the Stallion generally? What do you think about her? I think she can shake. Very well. You like the booty? She can shake now, very honestly, well. Honestly, she her controls brazy. She embraced me to work out my knees <laughs> because seriously, I think I tried to. I realized I had an issue. Maybe osteoporosis. Maybe carpal tunnel. Maybe arthritis. Well, you're in not my taking knees. your cod liver. <laughs> I wasn't taking no liver at that point. One day I tried to do the Meg the Stallion knees and I they should they had to oil me to get back up. That bad? It was bad. But I, listen, I'm I'm pretty good now. I can show you after. <laughs> no, but I thought I thought with Meg so heavy. I love Meg. Now see that's why you listen to the album. No, the album was I had to listen to the album because I know I was gonna talk about it. it so you couldn't give me the heads up? Oh, sorry. I thought you were that guy. I thought nah, you. Were, I thought you. You, 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 you give I, me okay, Meg the Stallion play, vibes. I have two playlists. Uh huh. Main playlist. One of them is slow jam mm-hmm. vibes, and the other one is like my gym playlist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Megan's not in either of them. She might be because she's a feature on a song, but mm-hmm. none comes to mind right now. She's not like my go-to artist. So. I will tell you what I think about that album. So, guys, honestly, I love Meg the Stallion. I think she has done a lot in terms of the liberation of women's sexuality her music is fun but my goodness i feel like it's got to the point where it's every fucking song sounds the exact same oh i didn't know what's going there wow i'm gonna be on i love and the thing is i want to be honest i love meg i want some diversity like how can i listen to a 12 song album of the same song in a different beat, like oh, it's so oh, I'm that bitch. <laughs> Come on, man, you want me to listen to it? That's what I'm saying. Like, what's going on here? You know you're wrong for that. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's just I, that's how she spits, though. Nah, it's not. A, it's not. Listen, when we're talking, cause me, I love music. When we're talking about people like Beyonce, we're talking about people like Nicki. There is a there is a range. The issue with Meg is that she does not have range. She is an amazing rapper. She is an amazing performer. She's lit. She does not have range. And I don't know if that's because, you know, sometimes, yeah, like, she's a rapper, so maybe she writes her own stuff. But I really feel like maybe she needs to start getting pe- writers coming in. I'm not even going to lie. And I'm so against... Wait, but when you say writers, is it what she's saying? Huh? Is it what she's saying? What'd you say? Is it what she's saying that you're annoyed with? Or the, just the sound? The sound. It just she sounds the same. She might just need to new producers then. New, but or, it's like... Or, but go, the thing is, go out this and get must influence. be a pen to paper thing because I've actually... I've seen artists that they get stuck in the same... Like, they get stuck in the same rhythm and lyrics. It's what they know. It's their beat. It's their, it's their identity. But it's like, you can't... Like, for example, you're talking about your mum's death. You're talking... It's called traumatised. You're talking about your mum's death. You're talking about... Um, 
being mother and fatherless and it sounds like you it sounds the same as you've done body or the that doesn't make sense to me oh but like that i swear to god so the I mood was, of a um, album is the, a bit like, the it's mood, the same the, 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 it's so weird because the topics were so deep but i felt like i was listening to any other song she'd play about booty shaking mm, and and okay. ass twerking i could I, I could twerk to that song and i shouldn't have i shouldn't want to i couldn't i shouldn't talk like i shouldn't be able to twerk to that song i want to cry mm. i want to be sad with you i want to feel your your emotion but it was wrapped under like that's what i'm saying like meg like honestly they don't make them like Nikki. And again, that doesn't take away from... I think Megan is amazing. I think what she's done is amazing. But this album was something I've you heard not, before. Do you not think it was rushed? No, I no, sorry, not rushed. I don't even know when rushed. she started not, not, it not, and when she finished it, to not, be fair. Not rushed. So that's not the wrong word I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. The rollout. Because I didn't know she had an album coming. I, no, I, listen. I, now, people have started to realise. I feel like when it comes to marketing, things are different. It's not the same way you need to anticipate people. Beyonce changed the game. One day Beyonce woke up inside, I'm gonna fucking drop my album. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Look at the example that he used. That's the album, that's the example I know. Obviously you're born in 1970. No, 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 I'm saying, no, so no, Be no, no, Beyonce is a good example because she's Beyonce. Beyonce can afford yeah. to do that. Can Megan Thee Stallion afford to do that? I hear it, but every, a lot of people have now started, but since that level, They've all started to do but, the um, no 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 marketing no PR. No, I'm gonna just drop the album. You can't use Drake, Kendrick, J Cole, Jay Z, Kanye, Beyonce, Adele as examples. That's very. Di but, it's, it's, it, you, but you're talking from a, a very subjective place because in Megan Megan Thee Stallion's eyes could see herself in the same level as as Kanye West. Or Megan Thee Stallion could see herself as in the same bracket, not in the same bracket. Obviously, B as queen, but. She was good enough to have a feat for Beyonce to feature in her song. That doesn't mean you're Beyonce. But th what I'm saying is that's subjected to you. No. Megan Sally could feel like she can do that. <sighs> that's what I'm saying. This We're is, talking from is, outside. We're no, talking from as a perspective. Where, this is where it goes terribly wrong, man. Like, there's some people that are goats in their thing. They mm -hmm, can mm -hmm, do mm -hmm. that. Like, their fan base is, like, for example, Ed, Sh Ed Okay. Ed Sheeran probably done small venues when he first started. Yeah. Then it got to the point where it's like, yo. If I'm going to announce a show, it's got to be the Wembley Stadium. Yeah. And even now he's doing Wembley Stadium, he does like three or four dates. If Ed Sheeran decided to go to Brixton Academy because he's got a feature with another artist who sold out Brixton, it's like, it doesn't make sense. And because Megan's worked with Beyonce, I, you go sell out at Wembley Stadium, you will fail terribly. Don't get me wrong. Beyonce is looking down thinking, yeah, you're popping for your era. Mm -hmm. It'll be sick to work with because, mm -hmm. again, I believe that sometimes when you're even above people which is fi it's fair to say mm -hmm. you would look down at who's next and still want to collaborate with them I don't yeah. think it's a it's a bad thing I just think just know why you're there so like when Drake worked with um, Jack Harlow for example mm -hmm. he's got Drake wow do you think Jack Harlow can now start moving like he's Drake no it will get to some people's heads and I'm nah, gonna, I think lie. I think people need to stop doing that they need to stop doing that respect that the people of, of that era are looking down and thinking yo you're sick I'm going to fast track you like mm -hmm. you don't have to go through I guess the rankings feature with this person and feature with that person and to get to me you don't have to yeah. but at the same time know your place respect man respect your thing yeah, yeah. Right. honestly Meg I love her like but right now like because even I would even say Cardi B is more is more of a dynamic artist, artist. She every time I see her on a track regardless of if she writes or not it's different it's mm. unique and also Mo Cardi B is a performer I wish I watched her at the wireless I saw the Ooh. and, I, and I'm I was not backstage. even backstage oh you backstage yeah I was working uh, tell us, tell us. <laughs> See, I had to talk about. <laughs> no, I was working. I was working. Um, so I had the opportunity to work backstage at Wireless with um, BBC One Extra. Oh yes, yeah. I forgot you're part of BBC Gang. Did yeah. you interview her? No, I interviewed Fabio Foreign, Chunks, um, Shensia, Fireboy, DML, and there's one more. Oh, some American guy that was looking after. Um, one of the acts I think his name is DJ Skrills so we had him on for a you bit you know what well. I'm going to say yeah because sometimes as a joke here yeah, because a lot of honestly this show we just talk a bunch of shit in it and I'm like if you're looking for facts go to BBC I'm going to be like if you're looking for facts call Taser because <laughs> it's not me if you're looking for facts go to BBC they'll go and help you do that hey. go, go call Taser for the facts <laughs> this place is pure vibe because sometimes they're like no it's not that it's th listen no but I made that mistake on the podcast as well and I'll, I'll probably make it on BBC as well. And BBC might have to say, yo, Taze, you, you can't say that because it's See, not BBC would tell 
Taser, no, I'll get police, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, Me, I said it. Come on, beat me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you're looking for a high school taser. No, but why are you looking at me? I'm nobody's role model. I, I make mistakes just like you. <laughs> just like you, <laughs> you know baby. What I mean? like, oh, nah, my man. God, that's too fun. I'm gassed for you. Do you know what? Yeah, I, thank you, um, thank you. I was backstage. Let me let me brag to you. I, I was you. backstage. Um, no, yeah, no. Not backstage, like backstage. With oh, Nicki Minaj. Oh, were you? Yes, I was. I was on the stage. Look how you go. Don't ask me how I got there. Me and Fred, how we, how we. <laughs> you got the speech there. Nah, no, I can't lie to you. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is and this is no rain on your parade, yeah. But the security was moving a bit mad still. So how? Listen, we got backstage. Like we were on stage when Nikki was performing, and how we got that year was by the termination and the blood of Jesus. Those two things, yeah. And you, you know, you have those friends where you know that. If you hang out together, there's a possibility that you're both as confident as each other that mm. you may get arrested. Mm -hmm. That's Fred became that friend friend for me. I said, Fred, it's possible me and you, they will we will end up in handcuffs one day because you're as brave as me <laughs> and I'm as brave as you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not going up to the security like, yeah, excuse me, why have you stopped me? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So you just cut it through, because I did we that. We cut Listen, they got to the point where Basically, we were cutting you, cutting you, cutting you. Imagine, I to even get behind stage with you, I didn't even have a pass. They didn't give me one. I didn't have a pass. Got, got behind the, the, the stage. Security was now fighting other security to get in. So, uh, the security was now fighting other security because one gate was crazy. People were pushing. Then you got the white guys just chilling and they're like, no, you can't get in. So this black guy now came to the other gate and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? It's packed up down here. You're just sitting here, la, la, la. And he's like, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? So the security are now trying to have the well, message. Like and now start, I now moved. I started, I started running. Fam, I turn around and the security's, the security's running after me and they say, I'm running, he's running here. Fred is just there looking, thinking, nah, B. So obviously I get tired in it because obviously, I can't, listen, I'm not a fucking track, I'm not a track runner. I get tired, you know. <laughs> I'm a track runner, I'm not a track runner, so I stop running. He's like, get the fuck back, get the fuck back. And then um, we ended up seeing, so weird, we ended up seeing Steph London mm. at the gate. And I, um, I know Steph because of something I did with Shivas. So I was like, oh, hi, Steph. I was like, can I come with you? She's like, yeah, babe, you're all right. I said, okay, who's home? Thank you. And you, you looked at the security like, mm. Yeah. I said, what now, bitch? <laughs> what did you say? So I had my whole pink. I was wearing hot pink. I was representing the bobs mm. that day. Yes, shout out to my mother. You're Mickey. So Mickey Manach. So when you got to the stage, no one looked to you like you're not supposed to be here? No. I fit right in in my luminous pink. I'm surprised you didn't walk out when she was performing. Uh, no, but I saw Nikki's performance. Just too busy giving her screw face, man. No, Nikki, do you know what? Yeah, no one can ever come from. This, the, this I, is a Nikki Stan account. Okay, cool. No I problem. Will, but can I ask you a question? Um, to me. Are you going to be honest? Of course. You sure? Of course. So, uh, but you didn't see Cardi B's performance. See, that's the thing. I wish I saw it because I saw it and it, even the, the clips really excited me. Okay, so you've seen the clips? I've seen the clips. After, after the fact? After the cool. fact. So... Now that you've seen Cardi B's clips, yeah, do you feel like Nicki changed her set? Because she saw Cardi B's. I don't know. I don't, to the extent, what, what was wrong with her set prior? No, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I didn't see Nicki's set prior. I'm just saying that after what Cardi B did and how that was a moment, mm -hmm. do you feel like Nicki thought, mm, I need to add more sexy into my set? Ooh, I don't know. I don't think she would have come out doing sexy. I don't, because you're saying, I don't rec recall Nicki doing sexy. Well, you didn't see when she was on the bed. Yeah, but that was that was. But I mean, I'm saying, but yeah, but even that, I don't think Nikki would have done that if she didn't see she Cardi set. That. I think I think Nikki would have done that. Mm, okay, okay. I think it was. I think there were different performances. Listen, I ain't finna talk uh, about my mother, please. You ain't finna make me talk about my I mother. Got her, I got you ain't finna make me talk about my mother. I'm not doing that. Shout out Nikki Minaj, man. I she's, ain't doing that. She's a G. Okay, well, big up, big up, um, Meg the Stallion. We've got also another hot new release. Bella has released a new song. Obviously, Bella is a friend of the show. And she has a new single that came out, I believe, was... What day did this come out? This come out? Da, 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 da. It came out on Tuesday. It's called In The Moment. And it's... You know you know, Bella's bringing about R&B, man. I fucking love that girl. You need to um, let, let me know this blog that you're following. 
that's giving you all the list of new re- uh, releases. Oh, I have a I, I have a researcher, so I pay someone okay. to sit there and tell me what's going oh, on in the week. Okay, because Mimi obviously does her Fridays. Yeah, 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 yeah she so does. I see, I see a lot through Mimi. Shout mm-hmm. out Mimi. But um, yeah, I wouldn't have known Bella dropped a new song. Bella's song? Oh, man. I'm sorry. Can I just say, yeah, I want this in record. I'm sorry for the people who slept on Bella in the UK. Because one thing about the UK that I know is that they only jump on your cock when you're popping. And Bella right now, as soon as the US pick her up, please, everybody say I can, I've supported her since. They can't say I'm fake. Me too, me too. They can't say I'm fake. When US pick up Bella, Listen, go on. please, clear. I don't want to... Listen, do nobody should call me and ask me, can I, can I call, how do I get in contact yeah, that's, with... It's sad though, it's man. It's so sad. It's so it's sad. sad. I hate I hate that narrative that you got to go to America to kind of do your thing. What is come on like the history has repeated itself time and time again. We we have so many names who have struggled and strived to get here and done nothing. They've gone to America, they've cleared. Shout out my brother Flex God Daps. Come on. He was Literally, one of them guys. Uh, can you like you you yourself that has a personal story close to you? I've heard it time and time again. And the thing is, British people do not respect you. And I don't want to I don't want to generalise because you're not going to jump on my cock and say, well, it's not me. Okay, some British people, they will only respect you when they see American people supporting, supporting you. And I don't know whether that's because there is a detachment of cultures. Or no, we just bred America. Or we bred America. Yeah, we bred that's America. It. We follow what the trend is doing yeah, and it's, whatever, it's, whatever. It's, it's easy to follow. I don't, I don't, to I don't know what that is, but even me, I said me too. I'm gonna do um, American babe soon. You will see me in America, because honestly, you will see America. me. I see me in America. I'll be there. Do you know what's mad about America? Because you're different. Hi, the way they celebrate you, 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 you do come back with an attitude, and I was blessed enough. Well, to they like your chocolate to... ass, chocolate ass out there. Listen. Oh. I was blessed enough to go America. I'm an ATL when I was 23. And just to let you know the impact it had on me, when I came back, I, we took Faded seriously. Like events. Like mm-hmm. I went to an event over there. Yeah? Um, the, the venue probably doesn't even exist anymore. But it was around the time um, T.I. had a song called... Um, Baby, you can have whatever nah, you nah, like. No, no, no. Before, it was, a, it was the trap era. So there was a tune called Wala Magic. Wala Magic. And then it was around the time that um, Future had Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Because that's what that's what was popping then mm-hmm. in ATL. So we've gone to these clubs, yeah. There's one club. You can wear whatever you want. But there's still a dress code. Mm-hmm. So you get to the door, free guest list. And one thing about America that's different, that, has, that doesn't exist here, is that whatever they're playing on the radio around seven eight nine is usually music from the club okay so that and it's only like they do this i don't know if they still do it now but back then if they announce a rave on the day that is the rave to go to okay so literally if they say wednesdays we're going obsessions obsessions tonight everyone who's listening to the radio is going obsessions Mm -hmm. it's not like there's another club that this is the place to be for Mm -hmm. hip-hop do you know what i mean that's the kind of uh, culture they have out there. So we're, we're listening to the radio. We're like, all right, cool. This is the hottest station. He's saying this is the hottest club. We're going there. We get there now. The queue is insane. Three before, I think 11 or something like that. As it hits 11, they make another queue. So that's still a free queue, but there's another queue now. $20 if you want to get in now. So for some people join the $20 queue. After about half an hour, the queue's moving mad slow, by the way. $40 queue, fast track, $20, semi-fast track, Free. Free is not moving, but the queue's quay down the club. Like, there's about 200 people in that queue. They don't want to pay in it, but they'll just get in when they get in. The club don't finish till like 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. They're willing to do that. Then they'll say, if you want to get in now, $60. So whoever joins that queue, you get in next. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, they're just hustling. This is a hustle. This is outside. Then you get inside, you got to buy a table. <laughs> like, it's mad. And I'm like, this is a hustle. But people are paying. Some people might not even get in, but there's nowhere else to go unless you go to like a strip club. Do you know what I mean? So, and after seeing the women there, I'm like, yo, this is sick. Who was performing that day? Roscoe Dash. That's how funny Roscoe. Real trap. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was performing that day. And some of the girls in there was like, I was like, rah. So when I came back, I just felt motivated to be like, I'm like, nah, I want to throw parties like that, man. And my boy was down. And yeah, and that's what kind of, kind of are gave you faded to enter, that. Are you trying to enter this year? ATO, let's do it. ATO? Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I need to go back. I need to go to ATR. I want to go to LA. I went to Los Angeles. I found I found it to be a bit superficial for me. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I like. I've realized, yeah, that I like things to be a bit ghetto fabulous. I don't like things too bougie. I don't like. I love like you know we you know the girls we we all love the classy stuff, but I just need a sprinkle of sprinkle of that hood of ratchet. I hear you, just I hear so you. I do because that's me. I, I like to think I'm quite ghetto fabulous. Oh, you didn't get that from innate and nah, um, it was sorry, just LA. too fabulous and pretentious. And sometimes I want to just. Can I, I would like to shake my ass sometimes. Oh, you, you, you need to go to Houston then. TX! You need to go to Houston. You know my dad My dad lives in Houston, Texas. My dad lives in Houston as well. Maybe you're... What? Are, what? what? Stay calm. What, maybe they're what, friends. What were you going to say? Maybe they're friends. Oh. I thought you were going to say something else. No, nah, maybe they're, maybe they're nah, friends. I thought you were going to say something else. Relax! <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, maybe they're friends. You know the Nigerian community it's is out there. there. Yeah, 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 it's, it's big there. Nah, my I'm dad saying. just moved there. Just got a crib there. But right, let's move on to hot topics of the week we're gonna get into the the grits of things mm -hmm. and we want to start with angela ye announced that the breakfast club is over as we know it as the presenter is leaving for her own solo project sad man do you watch the breakfast club mm -hmm. i do i really like the breakfast club yeah. i feel like i have a segment called silly billy of the week that evolved from donkey of the day on the breakfast club but i don't feel like it, i feel like it's it's it, i feel like it's the same thing that hc done where they're like oh hc is ending when it had the other name and they came to evolve i feel like they're still gonna work together but perhaps outside of breakfast club because obviously i don't feel like breakfast club is owned by them it's owned by a network and they've now put on look how much like breakfast look how much they've made and created for that radio station perhaps they're just going to go out and do something that they can perhaps monetize off better but when they say, but when you said they're breaking up, it was Angela that says she's leaving. Yeah, she's leaving. Yeah. The tweet said, Breakfast Club, as you know it, is no more. Charlemagne and DJ Envy might still do it. Oh, Yeah, and Angela okay. just leaves and does her own thing. They might even replace her with someone else. But I guess... But the way it was worded was that it's not over. It's, it's what how we see it now. It's not going to be that. It's not that. the same because yeah, I'm yeah. out. I don't know. I, what, who do you think makes the Breakfast Club? I don't know, man, because... The way Charlemagne is, they're not going to get someone who's just going to be there and no. just attacking him or trying to get at him. So I, I don't know. I don't know that many American personalities, to be fair. Because I, I remember, um, I was going to say Homegirl that was on the real would be a good one, but okay, she she, she, she her, her opinions are very. She was son um, Charlemagne certain times, and I don't, I don't think he'll be happy about that. Um, yeah, what's her name? Amanda Seals. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think her name is. Um, but yeah, I reckon they'll just get like they'll get someone. There's someone in that building that's on the network that's got a show that they're probably looking at, thinking you'd be Angela's replacement, obviously for cheaper. It's I don't it's know. Bus it's business at the end it's, of the day. It's, I, it's I, business. I hear it. At the end of the day, it's business. But when they said, as you know, I don't feel like it's a goodbye. That I think sound she's like got. I, I think she's managed to sell herself to someone else, and they've decided to invest in her and she's looked at the, the price of the money she's getting over there and she's thought you know what let me embark on my own thing she has to try it see it do you know big up her i'm excited to see how it evolves honestly mm -hmm. i really do enjoy watching the breakfast show and they've had some phenomenal i know all over twitter there's been discussions of what they have previously done but the way everyone is making it look like it's completely shut down like the way it's like oh it's the end and people are tweeting okay say your best memory or... yeah I saw that I think it's just the way it's worded yeah it's worded as mm. if to say that it's closing down for yeah. good I think it's just the way it's worded and obviously the, um, you know how the, the saying goes mm -hmm. any publicity is good publicity per mm. exactly that but do you know what yeah it's better to be it's better for it to be vague it just keeps people speculating I know this is a mad segue but you know I, I am a fantastic podcaster and this is what I do man me. speaking of um any publicity is good publicity. Just to go back to my man, Mr. MM, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you have a problem with the apology being, the video being monetized? Did he monetize the video? Apparently, I saw, a tweet, I saw a tweet that said... I didn't see that it was monetized. Apologies getting monetized. I saw I that tweet. I don't think the, the video was monetized. Oh, you don't think so? I remember watching it. It wasn't monetized. Okay, well, maybe it is. But, just don't spank me. I might like it. But, I... <laughs> The context of that, how that was used here, is so mad because of what we're talking about. She couldn't help herself. She still had to say it. There was even a moment where she paused, looked at the camera. Should I say it? Still said it. This is my motherfucker. Should I finna say what I want to nah. fucking say? Go on. I finna say. 
don't quote me on it. I have no idea. But I believe when I watched it, I didn't see any ads rolling. Oh, so you have to see an ad for it to be monetized, even yeah. if the video is short. Yeah, you would. You, if an ad comes up, it's monetized. Even at the beginning. If it's at the beginning or at the end, that because the monetization comes from the advertisement. No, but I, I I have a YouTube premium, so I'm already giving them money, so I don't think I see ads. But I don't, so I would see it, oh, okay. and I didn't right. see one. So the person who tweeted it, just doing. Narrative. But if they have, if he did. Y'all tell me again. I told you this is not place for facts. If you want facts, go to BBC. <laughs> go to Taser. He will help you. Listen. As for me, I said. I, I said what I, I did. do not represent any view of the BBC. <laughs> All right, and that was hot topics of the week, guys. Of course, if you guys want to get involved, make sure that you email us at cocktailsandtakeaways at gmail dot com. Editor, put it here, please. And um, yeah, DM us. Talk to us. Isn't it? We're about. We're about. <laughs> Do you get do you get some wild DMs? I do. No, do you know what? Yeah, not not often. I feel like people are very respectful. We're very we're a very respectable community. Mm. We respect each other. We are cute. We are kind. But we are gonna move on to our final segment. We have question of the week. Of course, we asked the bad boys and the bad girls a question, and they answered on a poll with all their o. Opinions. I know where this is going. Mr. Taser Black, are you ready? I'm ready. Let me adjust my hat. Question of the week. Is it okay to be married and sleeping in separate beds slash have separate rooms? What do you think about that? Well, clearly, because this got global engagement, shout out hc per where i had the conversation per so if you haven't seen on tiktok or instagram or all of your favorite blog posts um mm-hmm. where you get your news or information about things going on in the culture a lot of people felt that it was a relevant topic and um i'm actually impressed to be to say that i'm the person that started it but anyway i said that i would like my own room in my marital home and reason being, because I, emphasis on I, like my space. That doesn't mean I don't love said future wife mm-hmm. or there is a lack of attention or intimacy. Oh, I was just talking about the times where I may be downstairs with the lads, she's gone to bed, mm-hmm. I don't want to interrupt her sleep, so I stay downstairs and I happen to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. If I want to get comfy downstairs, then there might be a sofa bed in this room where I just kind of chill there. When I go to do the toilet break, I might go upstairs and join her. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I just share that view. Then, boy, everybody else started sharing their opinions and views. And yeah, so my answer is I still agree. The only thing I'll say I change is someone spoke to me and said, it's a bit mad. Like, I understand you wanted to have your own like man cave or den or whatever, but it's just a bit mad having a bed there. Okay. So you sleeping there's not an issue if it's a sofa, but the fact that you have a bed there makes it seem as if it's another bedroom and you could potentially start sleeping there by yourself. And I wouldn't want that. If you happen to fall asleep, cool, but we should both try and make an effort to come back to bed. So Together. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. I hear you on that. No problem. Okay, do you want to hear what the bad boys and bad girls said? Yeah, let me know. So we had a split. Yeah, same with We comments. had... 53% saying totally fine and 47% saying absolutely not. Here's my opinion before I share what everyone else said. When you said it, I actually agreed with you. This is the problem. I feel like a lot of the comments are coming from people who have never been married before. Fact. <laughs> it's That's coming a fact. from married people. And the issue is we have a idealistic version of what marriage is mm-hmm. a, 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 ro- a, a romanticized a fantasy size we watch the movies and we're like yeah we live happily ever after honeymoon kissing children romance sex every day with the same person cuddles in bed every day person imagine doing that for five fucking years six fucking years i feel like after a while like you said exactly marriage becomes a partnership and sometimes yeah the problem is 
sometimes for me, I would like to be a partner and be married, but I don't want to lose myself. Mm. And I want that, and sometimes I want that space. Do you know what I mean? Imagine you, some of you people, you imagine, you imagine sharing, some of you, yeah, have spent 25, 26, 27 years sleeping on your own. Even that, again, psychologically is embedded into your brain. Like, go higher, 35, 40. 35, 40. There's better people in the comments. Resting in your bed by yourself to now have another person come into your life and you're like, okay, I can do this for the rest of my life. But like, they're, they're saying that the love, if the love was strong enough, yeah. And I'm it's like- It's not that deep. It's re- For me, it's not that deep. I think I'd personally do it because uh, listen, you. It's, the thing is, yeah, let's let marriage, people treat marriage, the relationship completely different to a lot of other relationships. Mm. And fair enough, it's it's definitely it's it's definitely a higher priority, but you don't want to be in your in your friend's space every fucking day. You don't. You don't want even your mom that you love, that's your G. You don't want to be in your mom's space every fucking day. Your brother and sister, imagine brother and sister living with you. I've seen I've I heard spoke to my friend yesterday about her sister. They were boxing, and this is someone that you've lived with all your life. Some of you are twins, I've shared the same womb. And you're, and, still, you and you're still beefing. Yeah. And you're still beefing. I mean, come on, let's be... And this is the thing. When I, when we say things like this, it snaps the fantasised version of marriage that people so desperately want. Yeah, but the people that are in the comments doing, no way, this is... I would just like to ask a question. I can't ask everyone a question because my TikTok's in like 5,000 comments now. But my question would be to the people who are against me, how many times have you said previously that you love someone and found that person annoying? <laughs> I don't need to tell you what my experience you tell me your experience mm-hmm. so that's the same person you think you're going to sleep with every single day once you've ma- and bear in mind the marriage that I quoted yeah, I said married you could have been in a relationship for five years boyfriend and girlfriend and then got married and then got married so this is ten so this years is in ten- the game and you think you, uh, don't get me wrong yes of, of course you would want the love to be in a, in a place where you don't mind sleeping um, but beside each other every single day. But I didn't say that there was a lack of love for me to go and have another room. No, it's not. I never that. said that. It's, it's just that. sometimes I just want my space. It has nothing to do with my wife. I just want my space. To be honest, yeah, it's 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 respectful that you even said that because some people's space is in another person's bed. Mm. Oh, speak on it, child. Speak on it. People <laughs> are complaining about having a space in another house. Your man is having a space in another woman's Ooh. bed. One of the comments that kept coming up here mm-hmm. was that uh, he just wants the other room so he can go FaceTime his his um his other babes. Why is everything that isn't that doesn't walk the line of what you think a relationship is cheating? Somebody can be cuddling next to you. And still be cheating, yeah. And be telling you that you're going to... They don't even need to go to another person's bed. They're fucking in, in their finance <laughs> car. In that car. Seat back. <laughs> Seat back. No, but again, no, but you're, you're, no, but you're doing what I'm blaming them doing. Not every single... Not every problem in the relationship means that there's another she, woman yeah, or there's no, another no, man. No, 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 no. Like, there's other things that... Like, okay, one of my boys, yeah, was going through a situation, yeah, where um, he couldn't get hard for his missus. No, okay, as much as... No, no, you're... F- I have to f- sit down, I need to think about No, no, one. feel free to laugh even, because I laughed first as well. Why couldn't he get hard? He just couldn't, he, did, he didn't understand why. He didn't understand why. He was just like, bro, like, when it comes down to go time, I'm just, I can't get hard. And she's obviously getting frustrated. What's going on? I said, boy, I've never been there before, so I don't know. But one time I went out with them. The toxic, toxicity amongst these two, yeah, is unbearable. I had to pull him to the side once. I said, brother... This is your girlfriend. Why are you not bickering like this? Like, it doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, I would have left time ago. And then he goes, nah, it's, she means well. Like, she's just acting up. I'm like, no, like, this is so going to be beyond that. So beefing on the street, on the highway. But not, but not fighting, not beefing as in that fight. And just, just being catty towards each other. Like, she'll kick him on his shoe while he's crossing the road. You accidentally buckle. Ha, he'll play it off. I'm like, no, she just made you look stupid for what? This isn't this isn't flirting. Mm-hmm. Like, she'll, he'll, she'll ribs him, he'll pinch her. And I'm like, what are you not doing? You don't think this is flirting? At first it was like kiki, kiki, this is cute, but then eventually when it gets down to like the intimacy getting fiery, you can't even get a boner. So clearly this isn't working for you. Anyway, unfortunately, he slept with someone else. Everything was fine. But when he goes back to his girl, he can't get out. He's like, ah. I said, bro, it's because you're not that relationship's not for you. It's not for I you. Know. It, no, but it's not for you. You're having to change who you are 
to please this girl because you desperately wanted her. Like he's, mm. when he saw her, he was like, wow, I can't believe she's talking to me. Remember, remember what I said in the beginning about pressure? Mm -hmm. So he really liked this girl, felt like he had to, he changed himself to become this man that she wanted. Mm -hmm. Like his boyfriend experience was not boyfriend experience because I want to get you. It was, I feel like I need to be this boyfriend experience. I need to embody this mm -hmm. to get you and stay like that. I'm like, nah, because now when you resort to who you are, you can't because she's always nagging at you. So who you actually are, you know she don't rate. So you pretended to be someone else. And now it's causing you to not be able to get bonus. Oh no. Separate. Find peace. Mm -hmm. He did that. He's happy doing what he's doing. She's married, had kids with whoever she's with. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you're not supposed to be together. But in that scenario, they would have forced themselves to sleep with each other. Hand underneath each other, hair in his face. He's losing sleep. Do you know what I mean? Waking up the next morning, morning breath, kiss me. No. Like even that. I don't like doing the, I know people say, okay, cool. If, when you love each other, you don't care. Mm, I, I'll always care about that. <laughs> when you get up, I beg, go and freshen up. It, it takes two minutes to brush your teeth. And you, you know the ones that you don't, like you're walking around your house. Mm -hmm. It's diff the type of brushing the teeth you do is different to if you're going up. Mm -hmm. You know the ones there? Yeah. yeah, just do that. You can do that one. The soft one. The quick yeah, just, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Over time, I kind of get used to your, br this is what her breath smells like after she's had wine. This is what her breath smells like after she's had coke. Like you, you know your. This is what I'm saying. You know your wife. Mm -hmm. If I said to my wife, I'm "Going to sleep downstairs," or, I'm going downstairs. I catch you when I catch you. And she's like, "Okay, I'm going to stay upstairs. I'm going to read and probably fall asleep." It's not beef. If she wakes up and she sees me in the in the man cave, for me anyway, I don't believe it's that. But let them do what they're doing in the comments, man. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, I don't, I'm just going to read what some of the bad boys and bad girls said. Jamila Joy said, rethinking the way we look at marriage. We are coming together in a partnership. I'm not sure if she's for or against, um, but big up you. Your boy Moya says, sleeping in separate rooms is wild, but having own rooms is fine. So obviously having a, like a man cave, but obviously always coming back home mm. to the marital bed. And then a lot of people were like, uh, Elsa, some people be snoring. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, Sis is saying, if my man is sleeping and snoring, I can't come and kill myself. I'll go and get another room. That's true. To go, he, to go and sleep. If he sounds like a truck, yeah. Smithy Graham said, personal space is good. And Sarah Tiffa said, sorry, but we are spouses, not roommates. There's no space, there's no room for breathing space. Bye. Uh? That's what she said. There's no room for breathing. Those are the girls that want to live in your skin. Like me. It's toxic. Do you, have you ever gone to the root of that? Do you know what? I'm a very clingy person. Why? Don't fucking go on about. No, but what? No, but why? Why I are you clingy? I don't know. You know, don't know. Maybe I've got issues. Who are you clingy towards? Your friends or um, men? Men. Why? Not a fucking like, fucking. No, no, but it's true. But why are you clingy? Do you, do you feel like if you don't cling, you're gonna lose him? No, I feel like I love attention. Mine stems from attention, in it. So you want attention? I have a constant need for attention. Okay, so what is being clingy? Like, is even you get? Like to, is, I just like people to talk to me. Yeah, but don't don't you want the attention to be something that he wants to do? Not, I agree. Not, Honestly, not, I'm working not, on it. Not be put under duress. It all feels the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> attention is attention. Doesn't matter where he, how it got there. It's dangerous, man. It's dangerous. <laughs> no, I'm learning. No, honestly, I'm gonna change. But Bookish Chan said, when it's really hot and they snore, sometimes you need space. It's just better sometimes. Um, Kamari said time to yourself is healthy for the relationship I agree um, and Harriet Jennifer said I get it if somebody snores in separate beds but my relationship means we've in my relationship that means we have four a lot of people are talking about sn snoring so but it's not gonna lie I think I snore anyone who's talking about snoring has experienced someone snoring next to them and yeah realize, yo this like is a train like a do you snore I, apparently I snore apparently. I, I don't know I snore because I can't hear myself snore I, do you know what? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I snore. And I, I don't want to record hard. myself snoring because if I, if you'll I be see, embarrassed. No, but if I see something else, imagine you record yourself sleeping, mm -hmm. and then you watch it back and you see moments where you're like, "Oh my god, I love him." I'm like what? Think about all the times you slept next to someone that you could have said a <laughs> madness. You're like, "Yo, I don't want to know." Start thinking about your whole life and yeah, shit. Yeah, like no, nah, man. That is so Who's my fucking he's talking funny. To, what? Are you dumb in your sleep. 
I'm so done, but we are going to close there, guys. That was a uh, question of the week, guys. Again, we go again next week. But I just want to say thank you for listening. Also, big up Kurt's cocktails on the fucking mix every time. Mm. You know the drinks, the cocks is always cocking on Whoa. this show. That's the, the tail <laughs> is always tailing on this side of the show. <laughs> just saying. On that side is tailing, on this side, on this side is cocking, on that side is tailing, babe. But even when we get it down, make sure you guys check her out. And she has uh 15% off all her drinks if you use the code Madame15. I'ma put that in the bio. But without further ado, I would like to say thank you so much. So where do Thanks we find me. you? So you can find me, Taser Black, on Instagram. You can find me on all of your streaming platforms, dropping an episode every Friday. Free shots of tequila. And you can find me every Saturday, 4 till 7, alongside Sian Anderson, BBC One Extra. Go check that out. Yeah, yeah. And with that being said, thank you guys for listening in. And we are going to be back next week. Talk to me. Just Hype 2. I got the Taser Black Helpline show on that. Yay! So check that out on YouTube Guys, I'm going well. to I'm gonna put all that in the description, so make sure you check it out. And without further ado, we are going to say goodbye, and we are coming back next week with... Uh, what's this? m and Oh, Taser. Is this from your line? Yeah. You're for Tiz Draxel, baby. Thank you. Oh, guys. Obviously, I don't know what size T-shirt you Four tails. Four T's. Four T's? Yeah. True talent takes time. Nah, big old four T's. Oh, I like these. Thank you. Listen, I'm going to wear this, man. I'm, you know, I've, Obviously, I've heat wave, so tra- you have your own I've got time. I've got a new person some Jamaican woman, but I'm going to get this. But I love, I appreciate this. Thank you so much. I'm no going to wear this. I'm big up you, man. Aren't you the entrepreneur? <laughs> what, what don't you do? I don't think I even need the clothing, you know? I know, I know. I'm trying, man. Trying to diversify the brand and that, you know, we're outside. Nah, big up you, man. Oh, thanks for this, guys. Make sure you check out Four T's and we will be back next week with another bad boy or another bad girl. Bow. Are we motherfucking out? Perfect. Oh,